YouTube. Today we're planning on the other side of the airport, as you can see in the background. Yeah, we're planning our little isolation trips around uh, what would be a seed corn field every other year. This year it's beans. We plant corn in the corners to isolate away from existing corn to the north and to the uh, east of me and to the southwest of me. Lock Ness is off and planting day three. Getting along pretty good. I think I've gotten through the little quirky things and new learning curve. Uh, look at that baby, yeah. Still gotta go. Lock Ness Monster. You hear about it? You read about it? But you never see it. But it's right here on April 27th. Later on. Plant some endros here, and you see how that row is really dark. You go, what's going on? I got a press wheel go out. No, got a rock stuck in there. Look at that, perfectly wedged in there. How fun is that? You can't make this stuff up. Just blows out here in the planning world. Oh, if you remember last fall tore this fence out along this farm and I'm getting like three full rows out of it. In fact, I might be getting a little close here. This fence row is majorly crooked. Look at that. Gonna hit that telephone pole. Oh boy, what do we do? Golly! Are you kidding me? Well, that's what you do. That one was pretty close. Well, we gotta make a little adjustment here. Here we go. We're gaining about three rows out of this fence row. The field or the ditch is a little bit crooked. So we gotta kinda angle in a little bit. And we'll correct it on our next pass. But yeah, look at that, it's nice. Come down here. I love it when the guide post on the High lines are in the field. That's okay. Can't do anything about that. Got to have electricity, so we kind of got to weave around that. And see how that goes. Yeah. Oh gosh! Don't catch it! Don't catch it! Oh, perfect. I'm good. We're all good. Oh shucks! It's been uh, quite the day, if you can't tell. I didn't do much filming for most of the day. Just busy, trying to pay attention, making sure everything works. First day running the bean planter. I got about 75 acres farm done, and I moved to the next farm here. Going pretty good. I got kind of a late start this morning. I went to another field that worked out some ruts on some washouts, so that took up a few hours in the morning, got loaded up. First thing that happened when we got moving, clean sweeps, the airlines, they were getting caught because the zip tie was kind of holding it too tight and pushing it to the side. So we got that remedy fixed. That was a pretty easy fix. We just zip tied them in a different spot and they've been working flawlessly so far. The latest, it's about seven o'clock and I was just about done with the end rows on this farm and I noticed the vac was leaking hydraulic oil, spitting out. The vac, there's like a seal that's bad. So Bucky's gonna be here and like, few minutes and we're gonna try to get that fixed and hopefully I can get this field done it's about 90 acres so I got one little set of end rows and then it's straight going you know it shouldn't be too bad what's up buddy Bucky doing what he does best fixing the jump he always gets the crappy job yep Did I bring a rag <laughs> good morning YouTube you remember a year ago when we were tearing this fence row out? Look at that. Blends right into the neighbors. Right down here in the bottom by the Iowa River. That's beautiful. Love that. I 
got these rows separated from the this landlord and this landlord and that'd be awesome no grass no weeds in there beautiful love it see you later hey y'all video cut a little short last night just got busy and tired and well, we just walked across the bridge here planters right there just heading back to uh get the seed tender it's about a quarter mile away if that just got this field planted hopping across the river i'm gonna do that one today would be day four of plant 23 and it's gonna be a nice one today talking 70 degrees the sweatshirt's gonna have to come off actually it's pretty warm right now i think probably gonna take it off soon nature at its finest right on the blacktop road uh total count for deer today I think I'm at about eight, nine. So it is thick, thick in through here. This is the field I just got done planting. About 90 acres in there. And that is a deer haven back there. For sure. We made it. I don't know how long that took. Seven minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Not a bad walk. Just nice little brisk walk, if you will. Before we fill the bad boy, I gotta give two huge shout outs to making this thing work for us this year. Number one, Tom Hemiseth, Hemiseth Seed, State Center, Iowa. We needed an extension auger and he had these things laying around. This one was a little bent up, but we, we fixed her up and we made it work because with the short one, there's no way you're filling a center fill planter. So thanks, Tom. Number two, Lundell Plastics in Odie Boat, Iowa. Lundell, they make all kinds of plastic auger flightings. Honey Badger went up there one week and they like, oh, what do you need? Hooked them right up, got the length and everything. Plastic augers, easy to install. All the bearings, you name it, they had it. So thank you to those two. Wouldn't be possible without you. thing about this tender you gotta run it pretty slow just because the angle of that auger is is about as horizontal not the angle I really want so you just run her easy but shoot you just let her flow you don't even you don't gotta worry you throw talc in every little up so often and you're ready to fuck oh high profile right along the highway Drove the line, it seemed to be doing all right. Oh, always a nerve wracking part. Looks pretty good so far, I'd say. Well, a couple years ago, we tore this fence out, got all the trees out of it, look at that. Put that row right over there, one foot from the grass. That's gonna look so beautiful down in the summertime. Farm on that side of the road, tore that fence out. Beautiful, love it. Well folks, getting down in nitty gritty on this field. Oh. Woo! 180 acres, I got two passes left. I gotta go put some bags in. I've already put six in. I got two on the planter and two more in the pickup. So hopefully we got enough. Never fails. Oh, there's a decent amount in there, not a lot. This side though. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's probably, uh, I gotta think, on the second pass, the right side will not be planting as much. So the right side doesn't need as much, but it already has more, so that's okay anyway. Not that side. I'm thinking a bag and a half here and half a bag here. Come on, Pioneer! Rumor is they spend millions of dollars on their bagging technology. Well, your little things still rip. And then I gotta use a knife to open it. Uh, 
Well, I sure hope we make it. The trucks, it's not super far away, but it's far enough away. I don't really want to drive over to it. I don't definitely don't want to walk to it. Clean sweep just going to work. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Woo it's going to be close. Population's dropping. There's not much pressure in the tank. So that's naturally going to happen. Should be playing about 145, 150 range. Oh, it's going to be close. Last pass, just a few little point rows. enough in the tank there's a few right here and there'll be a few just down there at the bottom so right now we can lift up we're all covered oh there we go last little sliver keep it together keep it together start here probably 11 ish and it's like 745 so about eight hours to do 180 acres it's not too shabby real time i would have done it in six hours because i do about 30 acres an hour but fill time turnaround time stopping time blah blah blah, blah. so yeah eight hours isn't too bad really Fold it up, probably gonna call it tonight, get home, probably reload it for tomorrow. And I actually just felt some raindrops, so that's kind of odd, but uh, I don't think it's nothing serious. Mustard, muzzy mus. Hey everybody, what's up today? So, I know I look like a bank robber, or an outlaw. So we are using counter 20G insecticide. That's why I have the mask on so you don't breathe in the fumes. It may not look like it, but this is an OSHA approved filtering um, face mask. So what you do is you come up here, you flip this little flipper and you flip this lid open. Here's what I really like about it. So you put this on. Now this is 40 pounds. So it kind of works your back and your biceps and your tricep muscles and your shoulders. And you twist that on there. And there's 40 pounds of insecticide on here. And that flows down here. By the time you put all 24 on and you go back, they're all empty. You get done, you give a little smack, any loose granules out of there. You twist it back off. Got these handy grab handles. You flip the lid. You shut it, you bring it back over here, you put the little lid back on it, screws down on there. 27 go on a carton, pack it back up, done with it. Hence, lock and load, lock nest planner. See ya. Oh, he turns right. I'm turning right. Later. Now the fence row we cleaned up. Look at that, no fence to worry about. Kill a little grass with some herbicide. Getting two full rows out of there, looking good. It's just a process all the time, getting them fence rows cleaned up. Well, would you look at this? I got a little close to the fence row. The local FS guy, Trenton, helping me get some wire out. What a great guy, appreciate it. 
Greetings from Ohio. Later on. Well, it's day four of planting. Uh, things are going as good as they can. Uh, yesterday, the in furrow fungicide insecticide system was giving me some fits. Didn't really get much of that recorded what was actually going on. Uh, tech came out this morning. Spent quite a while messing with some stuff. Turns out there was some stuff that wasn't installed properly. The way this works is it's a pressurized system. There's towers out there that have all the lines wrapped around them. And all the lines that go to each individual row had to be the same length. And the tech that was here, he was looking some things over and he said, hey, those lines are tied too tight around those towers and pinching them and restricting the flow of water and product to the row units. So on two of the sections, we had to put new lines on. That helped clear up a lot of the issues we were having. Now it seems to be working pretty good. We were having some pressure issues. We messed with the compressor on the back of this tank that regulates how much pressure, how much air pressure it has to push the water and product through the lines. Turn that up a little bit. Seems to be working good. So as long as it's working now, I think it's okay, but I'll just keep an eye on it. And I got his number in case I need to call him. Time for the Loch Ness Monster to go back in the deep bowels of the water. Been a good day, Loch Ness. A lot of smaller fields, but they yield and got to be planted as well. Bringing the fold cylinders in. Gotta bring them in nice. Oh, gotta put the hitch down a little bit. Lock that in like that. Bring the hitch up into the little cradles. Go up until she stops. Yes, sir. Get the wing wheels, pull them up. Takes about a minute and 30 seconds to fold up. See you in the funnies.